his wife has to go back and make sure that he flushed the toilet. And if he don't flush the toilet, she would flush the toilet. And I was like, no, that I cannot take. That is grounds for divorce. That's grounds for separation. Like, why am I the one flushing after you? So when the topic of living together before marriage comes up, people have different opinions. And some people will say, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Referring to the woman as the cow, which is a very rubbish analogy in the first place. And then some will be like, oh, the guy will not be tempted to marry you or the guy will not be pressed to marry you because he's already doing wifely things without being called a wife. <laughs> now, that's, that's an interesting opinion anyway. But the thing is, sometimes people get carried away when they live with their partners. Some people live with their partners because of distance to, from their workplace and they've not really talked about living together or they just, they've not talked about getting married so some at, at some point they get carried away and it just becomes normal we're living together but they have desire to marry this person but they don't talk about it so they just keep going and hoping that this person would mention that maybe the guy doesn't have any interest in marrying the woman and it just keeps going and along the line everything just falls apart and then they say oh it's because you guys live together or some people get carried away and then they just Get married because they thought oh, it's just the right thing to do or oh, we're already living together we might as well get married and maybe they're not really sure that they want to marry each other and they get married and somewhere along the line marriage fails and there are other things that add up that makes a marriage fail but we don't talk about these things because we just were looking for one thing to pinpoint then also some some women will be like oh why do you want to live together before you marry is that you want to find somebody's faults and pinpoint things that they do that you don't like, like how they press a toothpaste tube or how they put the toilet seat, they put it up or down. It's not as minor as that. I'm talking about when people when people live together, there are things that you see, like do they clean up after themselves? Because it takes it takes an amount of self-respect to clean up after yourself, especially when you're living with someone. So those are some of the things that you'd see when you're living with somebody before you marry them. So to, in today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of living with somebody, a man, woman, I don't know. If you're the one going to live with the guys, you guys, he's not coming to live with you. I'm going to talk about the benefits of living with your partner before you marry them. If you're new here, my name is Bray. Welcome to my channel. And we're going to get straight into the video. So over the weekend, I was talking with my friends and we just have a conversation about relationships and a friend of mine mentioned how sorry just make sure this mic is on okay so a friend of mine mentioned that they know of someone that <laughs> is currently married to a guy that when they go out they visit their friends if he uses the bathroom in the friend's house his wife has to go back and make sure that he flushed the toilet and if you don't flush the toilet, she would flush the toilet. And I was like, no, that I cannot take. That is grounds for divorce. That's grounds for separation. Like, why am I the one flushing after you? You're not four. You're not three. That, those are things that you do for kids, not for your grown husband. And the thing is, who knows how long this wife has seen this thing and she, and she thinks it's normal. Like... They say, oh, take care of your husband. Taking care of your husband is not mean flushing after your husband. No, it doesn't. Taking care of your husband is just the same way he should take care of you. You cook for him. He works for you. Or you share chores around the house or whatever. You take care of each other. Emotionally, whichever way, you take care of each other. But me flushing after you, that's, that's rubbish. Like, that's just rubbish. So... <laughs> as someone who lived i lived with my husband before we got married we had our tiny apartment and i'll cook he'll clean or while i'm cooking he's helping out he's cutting vegetables and what 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 i saw this thing and i was like wow this is somebody that i want to spend the rest of my life with of which i dated people in the past that who say oh it's a lazy woman that takes another pot from the cupboard to cook when there's a clean well when there's a dirty pot in the sink instead of having to wash the pot in the sink 
she goes to the cupboard to take a clean pot to cook because she's a lazy woman. And he was saying that, oh, his mother said that. In my mind, I was like, why didn't you marry your mother? I think I even told him that you should have married your mother. But anyway, we're not married. And thank God I didn't get married to that kind of person because who knows, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be flushing after somebody now. Do you understand? So these, these things happen and some of us get carried away. But, and, and again, when you're dating somebody, it's easier to break up than when you're married because, or when you get, get married, everybody comes and says, oh, marriage is forever. And also the whole divorce process is a very lengthy, messy stuff that you don't want to be involved in. Yes, some divorces are very, very short and quick and like both partners agree and they do things quickly. But sometimes it becomes battle of who, who will take what and how this person wants to punish this person for asking for a divorce or God knows what. Maybe you should talk about someone that has been in a divorce, someone that has been divorced before to give you all the information about. It. I don't really know much about it, but from the little that I've heard, I know that it's 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 a very difficult and lengthy messed up process. So breaking up when you are dating is easier than when you are married getting a divorce. So I'm going to get straight into some of the benefits. Thing is, you see red, you see the red flags when you are married when you are dating somebody when you're living with somebody before you marry them you see the red flags like if they clean up after themselves do they flush when they use the bathroom i'm telling you these lessons are important lessons are important when they use the bathroom and they make a mess maybe there's water on the seat or urine on the seat do they clean up do they wipe that because and this this is not just men i'm talking about women as well you go to the gym and you and you go into the bathroom or just public bathroom let's talk about regular public bathroom and it's for women and you see women go in there and mess up the toilet maybe pee on the seat and they don't wipe the, the seat there's toilet paper there but they don't wipe the seat they just walk away there, there are times that I've been, I've been to the gym and i see like some, some somebody did number two and they don't flush and they go to and walk away like it's instinct when you use the bathroom it's it's, it's you say instinctual or what's it called it's instinctive to flush after using the bathroom but it, like I said before, it takes a level of lack of self-respect to not clean up after yourself, to not flush after using the bathroom, to not take your plate to the kitchen after eating. It takes a, a whole huge level of lack of self-respect. So when you live with somebody, you say these things. And the thing is, they can only pretend for so long. I, maybe I stay with you for a week and you're giving me your best self. Oh, you take the plate to the kitchen, you do what, 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 you say thank you, you wipe the toilet seats, you flush, and you believe that urine so it should be flushed, not the one that, oh, because it's urine, it shouldn't be, we shouldn't flush it, and the bathroom is stinky. You are doing all that, and after a week, you start bringing in your, your real self starts coming out little by little, and then after a month, you unleash, and then I see you in all your glory. Yes, you see me in all my glory too. And then I start seeing things. Maybe I might not see enough in that one month, but two months, three months, you'll see enough and you will know if this is somebody you won't spend the rest of your life with. You would know. So, and you'll see all the red flags. Is, is, this, is this person someone that drinks their, drinks themselves away and, and the what's it called, and vomits and passes out or whatever? Because, like I said, people will show their true color after a while. So, <laughs> so when you live with them you see these things and you know what you can take and what you cannot take so it's not about butterflies in your belly because when i talk about this or if, when i was doing some research about this cohabiting before marriage some women, some women were saying that when you live together after marriage that you have butterflies in your belly it's not about butterflies in your belly let's drop these butterflies in your belly while grown women Let's leave butterflies for teenage love. Like that's perfect in that area. But right now, yes, you still have butterflies in your belly when you think about the person that you love and all that. But if you are waiting until after wedding and then you move in together and you're like, oh, this new couple will have butterflies in our belly, fine. But that's when you're living together for the first time, right? And then you start seeing things. So, <laughs> so it's not about butterflies in your belly, for goodness sake. And Another thing is when you live together, you would, you would, um, sorry, when you live together, you can, you share chores and you'll see how this person responds to sharing chores. 
because like, like like i said about the other person that was like it's it's a lazy woman that takes a clean pot to cook when there's a dirty pot in the sink that she's supposed to wash like of which i was the one that was still going to wash it so i don't even understand what he was trying to do i guess we're just trying to bring me down because that because some guys thrive in that they try to bring you down so they can oppress you or control you or so you keep trying to get the approval like you understand so you would see if, if this person is open to sharing chores you'll see if this person is open to sharing bills like when you start living together now there are two people in the, in the house the electricity bill will go up water bill will go up groceries groceries everything all that will go up is that person willing to share man woman is that person willing to share that's another thing you would see because when you get married now you you, you don't understand me one person will, one person will just be doing everything and the other person that like, i didn't know that i had to that i'm supposed to do this or maybe, maybe the guy would be like oh i have no i had no idea that i was supposed to pay the electricity bill or i had no idea that i was supposed to get groceries or i had no idea that i'm supposed to do laundry or something that's when these things start coming out and that's because you waited until after marriage to live together you see new things that's and, and a lot of times when people say oh the first year of marriage is most difficult or the first two years of marriage is most difficult it's because it's because of things like this you guys do not live together and now you're coming together as two new people coming to stay in this in a space for the first time you are learning how to share a space with this person for the first time in your life it's going to be different from someone that has lived with this person before deciding to marry this person so they've seen that okay this is someone that i can live with this is someone that i don't mind waking up to every morning because you've, you've done it before so you can say you are practicing marriage doesn't change anything who, 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 who shouldn't practice marriage is there anything bad in practice you practice and you see and another thing that i noticed again is that some some women that are raising this kind of men like i watched a video last week what's her name according to nicole that's the name of the channel she she was supposed to have a dinner date with some guy and and the guy called that they should shift the dinner dates they should shift the, the dates one hour forward because his mom made spaghetti and meatballs and he wants to have dinner with his mom and he did not tell his mom that he was having dinner with with a new friend that he's supposed that he's supposed to date or that wanted to date him. but that's not important anyway he called her and said let's shift the dates one hour forward let's wait one hour later so that he can have dinner with his mommy so he can eat spaghetti and meatballs with his mom <laughs> she didn't say mommy i don't know if he said mommy or not but that is those those are the kind of men that when they when they marry you you become the next mother and the mother will make your life difficult because she'll feel like you're taking her baby from her and also, and if 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 she ever gives you guys a chance and you guys get married, he would always compare what you do to what his mother does, or the mother would tell you that this is not how my son likes it, and that is a problem. There are a lot of mommies boy, boys out there. You you won't know. Women, some women will raise girls to know how to do things, clean and cook and whatever, but you don't raise their sons to clean up after themselves. They will still be, they, 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 they would still they will still make their lunches, make their dinner. They will still make their bed they'll still do their laundry okay look look at how about how about um the middle the the series the middle that's what's his name axel axel goes to college and every weekend he brings his laundry home for his mother to do believe let me tell you that is not just a series it happens in real life it happens in freaking real life so those are some of the things that you would see okay let's go let's let's move to reddit some some um some lady was talking about how her boyfriend's mom and sister came to live with them, came to spend, I don't know, a week or a, a month or something. And then, and then they refused to leave. And the guy is not worried that his mother is taking space or making his girlfriend uncomfortable. And when she was talking about it, like, when is your mother leave? When is your mother leave? He said, oh, what's the, um, she, I, I don't, I don't want her to leave. She does my laundry. What the, what the, like, what the fuck? Do you understand this? <laughs> So these things happen and women that raise this kind of men, they are the ones that come and say, oh, butterflies, or, or why are you judging somebody? Or why are you finding bad behavior in, in so or why, or why are you trying to nitpick what they're doing? But trust me, when you live with somebody, it's good to live with them and you see, and then you can walk away. 
because when you get married when you get married it's harder to walk away guy or girl it's harder to walk away when you get married so live with that person you don't have to live with them for six months you don't have to live with them for one year i lived with my husband for one year yeah six months to one year or thereabouts but even if it's three months even if it's one week in one week out keep your place don't move in fully one week in one week out you get used to each other you see things you see things and you know if you want to marry this person so you will not, you will not be that woman that flushes after her husband oh let me go and make sure that my let me go and make sure my husband flushed the toilet i don't even do that with my with, with my seven-year-old son or my nine-year-old daughter i don't do that with them highest i'll say oh did you wash your hands you'll be like yes he washed his hand or when you pee did you pee on the toilet seat are you sure go and check and wipe it he'll take the tissue and he would wipe it and he'll wash his hand and come out but <laughs> but going to check going to confirm that my that that my husband flushed the toilet like what the fuck? so i'm telling you if you live with somebody you see you see all this bullshit and you know if you want to marry them or not then also when you when you live with somebody you know if you're compatible sexually normally what's it called <laughs> you know if you're compatible and that's like sharing chores how you see things do you want to get married do you want to have kids and yeah that's those are some of the things that you discover because you guys will talk and also you see how this person defends you in front of their family because before i got married to my husband he was already telling me that his family yeah everybody is cool but the his mom might try to like get in my way or something not really get in my way but she would just try because okay i'm marrying her son or something and but he also made it clear to them that this girl that i'm marrying she's not going to come here and do eye service and start cleaning the house and start forcing you or trying to make an impression for you to like her no she's just going to be herself and she's a good person i'm a good person <laughs> i mean like a good person i'm not gentle so i like to say i'm gentle but that's not the point so he made it clear to them that i'm not going to do any of this i service stuff i made it clear to my family too that my husband will not come here and be doing uh um, forming forceful friendship with my mom or my sisters of which he's someone that is easy going so it was easy for him to flow my youngest sister my younger sister and uh, over time he got used to my elder sister as well so, but he didn't have to do anything extra, extra he just had to be himself and they accepted him the way he is so you would know if this person is someone that would fight for you when it comes to family because we hear about guys that their mothers mistreat their wives or women that their, their, that their family mistreat their husband disrespect their husbands and and they just take it as one of those things and like it's not a big deal you should be used to it those are things that you know when you're dating somebody and you're living with them before you marry that's if you want to marry them or even if you want to live with them as long-term partner there are things that you see because if if there are things that you don't like that if they are, if they do things that you don't like then you don't want to live with them even as a long-term partner so there are pros to living together and also you'll know if it, yeah when you live together it will show doubters <laughs> what, what do you call them people that always that that I feel they know your relationship better than you to show them that you guys are moving strong like you guys really want to be together maybe your friends have been doubting that you sure he's for real are you sure it's for real when you guys decide to live together it's it's um what's the word it just shows that you guys are moving your relationship to the next level yeah yeah, it's a sign they are moving the relationship to the next level and also you learn to work together paying bills and all that yeah another benefit of living together is a chance to live in a quiet in the quiet fun fun free life without kids because some of us when we get married won't have kids as quickly as <laughs> i don't know if it's everybody but we just we want to have kids while some people like to wait like or let's wait one year and just enjoy this uh free life or single life without kids and after a year they have kids but when when you're dating and you're living together then okay then there's no pressure to have kids or maybe then you're not thinking about kids you want to have kids after marriage it's an opportunity to enjoy your time hang out with your friends go wherever you want to go because when you get married kids will come and your life will change and you don't want your life to change so quickly like that but 
it's, it's different for everybody so that's just an added point so i understand when our aunties tell us don't live with somebody before you marry them because oh, he, he won't want to marry you because you're already doing wifely stuff or if you live together before you get married after you get married don't be butterflies in your belly well you've experienced butterflies in your belly while you're dating and you already know this person so what butterflies are you looking for of which if this person is a good person random days you have butterflies in your belly and that's also good it doesn't have to be oh this fairy tale marriage this fairy tale wedding that gave me butterflies in my belly it doesn't have to be that way sometimes you just need to grow up and i'm not saying that having butterflies in your belly makes you a child but sometimes we just need to grow up and be realistic about about what is important and that's having a good partner if you want to get married or if you want to do a long-term relationship having a good partner a good partner is better than any other thing that you're adding yes big house high and whatever whatever you want to add to it first the person has to be good and if you live with someone before you marry them you know them more than when you're when, when you're living with them for the first time after marriage even the men some men that complain about oh what do you mean living together before marriage is because i'm not i'm I, sorry i'm sorry if i'm generalizing but most of these men don't do anything most of these men their mothers have taken care of them all their lives maybe they only moved out of their parents house when you guys got married or when they went to college let's say when they went to college and even if and even at that maybe they take their clothes home for their mom use for their for their parents to do laundry for them or their parents still clean their rooms for them or something these are the men that, that would complain oh what do you mean what do you mean you need to see those flaws really you need to you need, you need to see those flaws you need to see what you want what you can take and what you cannot take before you marry that person that's all i have to say for this video if you like it please like it and leave a comment and let me know if you lived with your partner or if you like the idea of cohabiting before marriage let's talk about it let's discuss in the comments and please subscribe and share this video it helps the algorithm and let youtube know that you like my content so thanks for watching and i'm out bye